Well, no, let Lou say it. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm your host, Peter, and today I'm going to react to episode 8 of The Owl House Season 2 titled Knock Knock Knocking on Hoodie's Door, which I assume is a play on the Bob Dylan song, Knocking on Heaven's Door. Anyways, from the look of this title, it seems like this episode is going to be a Hoodie-centric episode. I'm not the biggest Hoodie fan per se, I find him to be quite annoying for the most part, but I do love his little friendship he has going on with Lilith. Although she's not living in the Owl House anymore, which is quite unfortunate for Hoodie. However, I've read that Amini is going to make an appearance in this episode, which I'm like, yes, finally, because we haven't seen Amity since episode 5 when she made that bold move to kiss Luz on the cheek. That was amazing, by the way. Also, I was beginning to get worried for a sec because I was starting to wonder if this show is purposely trying to keep Ebony away from Luz just to keep the gay moments to a minimum. But luckily, that doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm really glad that Ebony is going to come back and hopefully we will get more heartwarming Lumini moments as well. Before I get to reacting, I just want to thank all of you guys for watching my two most recent videos on The Owl House. It means so much to me that some of you guys are interested to know what I think about the show in general, and it definitely motivates me to put out more content related to the show, so I really thank you guys for that. Also, I know I didn't post anything about last week's episode, but just to give you my quick thoughts on it, I absolutely love that episode. Like with Hunter, I definitely developed a crush on Rain Whispers as well. Like for real. They're so smooth, like I just can't. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight to my reaction. Good eye, I'm a genius! Is he writing to Lilith? Hello, Aww. Your letter concerned me, but Hootie, you are the Owl House. You take care he of is. everyone is for all intents and purposes. The show's name is The Owl House, and he is The Owl House, so he should be just as important as the other characters, you know? As I have to train as hard as I can to get and she God. also wants to rescue her boo, Rain Whispers. Who is she kidding? And if he's not happy, I'll never make my way into Amity's heart. <gasps> I mean, maybe oh my goodness. My so I devised the plan of plans. That's an evil look. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Ugh. Bug, biped, and beast. What is yeah, biped? <laughs> so cute. King is so cute. Don't you talk about my mother? What? Uh, oh, know. biped means walks uh, on two legs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what the heck? I graduated from medical school. Did you know? I just want to know what I Biped am. and beast. Maybe both of them. Away! What a lame answer. <laughs> the only real answer is inside your heart. Ugh, lame. Go no, away. I don't have any responses to my video yet. Or my one. Well, he did see your video. Maybe my but that might not be your dad, though. No well, I am mad at him for oh, not being here. King. He <gasps> left me. He's crying. <gasps> oh my goodness, he has magic. Oh, what did he no, just do? No, let me guess. I think Hoodie is going to try to help all three of them, so King, Ida, and Luz, but he's going to seemingly fail at it. But for some reason, he's actually going to help them in certain ways. Aww, the cookies are so cute. They're little yeah, owl cookies. Boy, are those poisonous cookies? Oh, they're charmed. Oh, she's gonna fall asleep. Oh, is that her dad? Mother, do you like my napkin folding? No. Yeah, what happened to her dad? I mean, to their dad. Hey, pumpkin. So that's why tonight. Oh, is this the last time she saw him? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Did I just see blood? No wonder Lilith and their mom are so adamant on getting Ida healed because of what she, I mean, the owl beast did to their dad, to her husband. Oh my goodness, it makes sense now. It was you. <gasps> Rain. Oh, what are you doing? Rain! I did not expect to see them today. So I've made a decision. Okay. okay. A breakup? I know how this plays out. I'm joining the Bard Coven. Oh. And oh, and? 
I think we should see other people. Oh my god! They were a couple. I knew it. I knew it. All of y'all knew it. We all knew it. Oh no. Okay, before we get to all of that, I am so happy that they were an actual couple back then because there was a little voice in the back of my mind that thinks that they were just friends because of how they addressed each other in the last episode. They were like, oh, this was my friend, Ida. This was my friend, Rain. So now it's confirmed that they were actually dating. Oh, yes. That's what I wanted all along. I can't do this anymore. Aww. My oh, wow. Suddenly, Ida is a giant. Who is this? Who the heck is this? Okay, we need to find out who that person in that cloak was. Seriously. Am I supposed to know what that thing is? What that scroll is? Oh, what a metaphor. That Albies is literally bound to her. You know what? Maybe the only way to actually get over the curse is to embrace the curse. Truce? For now? Aww. <laughs> it's like sandpaper. That's so cute. Oh, pretty. Wow. Gay rainbow lights. Oh no. Oh. Whoa. She looks cool. No, you actually. Yeah, you helped her. Oh. Girl. This is a yes. Look. Maybe you can tell me how to ask out a cotton candy haired goddess. Cotton candy haired goddess. I suppose I'm just attuned to other people's emotions. Creepo. Amity smart, cool, and classy. Yes. Emmy. Oh. You know what? It's about time that Luz actually actively pursues Amity because I feel like it's mostly the other way around where Amity is the one that has been doing the grunt work in actually pursuing Luz because she was the one that actually kissed her. So I think it's time for Luz to now be the one who is proactive. <gasps> oh my god! Hey! So did Hoodie kidnap Amity and brought her to the basement? He is so extreme. I'm so sorry about this. If we could just forget about the whole Don't. Thing, maybe. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Hoodie, for bringing them together. Make your way through the tunnel of <gasps> love. <gasps> yes, Hoodie, you are the MVP of this episode, let me tell you. And they have a song and everything. Oh. <gasps> oh, that's so much blushing. <laughs> No, don't say that. What is she doing? What the? Can you see that Emily is upset? I mean, us dating? That's sick, right? She said dating? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, she was crying. Oh. Yes. Oh. New wallpaper. My new wallpaper, oh my goodness. Yes! Hoodie, just calm the F down. Loose. Okay, I'm gonna need you to just admit to Amity that you like her and you want to date her. Ugh, just do the work. Come on, you just need to say those words. Was trying to help me ask Amity out. Oh, whoa. Oh. Do you wanna? Yeah. I can't wait. This episode is amazing. I thought Amity's too cool for this. I'm not as cool as you think. It would be so cool if you were in it. So, oh, uh, she's thinking long term. Do you want to go out with me? Oh, no, oh, let Lou say I'm it. Ready. Amity Blight, do you want to go out with me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Kiss, hug. Okay, this is the holding the hands part. Oh my god, from the trailer. Yes. This is still so scary. And Lou's his new GF shoulder. GF? Did he Emma effing said GF? Okay. Oh. So cute. I'm a genius. You are, Hoodie. You're the best. I beg your pardon. Which <gasps> way to King Clothorn? Quick, Hoodie, tell King right now. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. He is on my dead list. <laughs> that was such a lovely episode, wasn't it, you guys? I really thought that this was going to be a fillery episode, but man, was I wrong. It definitely revealed a bunch of information about the characters, and it also helped to move along 
a bunch of subplots together at the same time significantly, so I'm pleasantly surprised by what I've just watched. Now that Luz and Emily are officially girlfriend and girlfriend on the show, Luz can finally get over her fear of talking to Emily and actually ask for her help in getting more information about Philip Widdebane from the Echo Mouse. Also, does this mean that we'll see more of Emily hanging out in the Owl House? Because I don't think her parents will be okay with her dating Luz just because they, especially Odalia, always seem to have a problem with Luz. So I can totally see them being out and about together as a couple in Luz's place or in their friends' houses or even at school. Ooh, I wonder if they're going to make things official in Hexite. That would be such a power move, let me tell you. The two of them pretty much went on their first date in the Tunnel of Love, all thanks to Huli, but I definitely want to see Luz especially asking Emily out on a proper date, like a romantic dinner or something. What I really want to see is for Emily to make one or two more appearances before the season takes a break, which I'm sure is pretty soon. Next up is Ida and that funky dream of hers. So as we all know, her and Rain were actually dating when they were younger, which makes me so happy, and it totally makes the stakes of Ida planning to rescue Rain from Emperor Bellows and stopping Bellows from achieving whatever he wants to achieve during the Day of Unity even higher. We also saw Ida and Lilith's dad for the first time and what happened to him, which was really tragic. I don't think that incident was severe enough to kill him, but maybe it somehow blinded him because that eye looked pretty bad. I'm sure we'll see more of him, um, but we shall see. And can we please address that cloaked woman who was laughing when she ambushed Ida? She is creepy. I don't know who she is, I don't really have any theories right now, but I can tell that she's someone important. Maybe she and Bellos were working together? And lastly, let's talk about King and his new powers. So thanks to Hoodie, King has discovered that he has the ability to create sonic waves. I think. I'm not sure if he will develop new powers because we still don't know much about him. We're not sure if he's a beast or a bug or a biped or maybe he's a combination of everything or maybe he's something completely different. We don't know. Okay, so that scene at the end of the episode, ugh, gosh damn it, Hoodie. Why you gotta ruin it for everyone at the end? You were doing so well until that very moment. Ugh. Anyways, to be fair to Hoodie, I don't think that letter is gone forever. I'm pretty sure that it is in the basement, which is supposedly Hoodie's belly. So it's a matter of when King or anyone else will come across that letter again. But I'm pretty sure that it is jumbled up with all of the crap that Hoodie has swallowed. So it's gonna be some time before we get to see that letter again. But you know what? I wonder why King's dad doesn't just go knocking on the house door and then asking for King. Like, it doesn't really make sense that he would write a letter and then walk all the way to the front of the house just to drop the letter next to the mailbox. Something doesn't make sense and something doesn't add up with his dad and I can't quite put my finger on why that is. So overall, this episode definitely hit it out of the ballpark. I was so engaged throughout the entire episode. Is it just me or is this season getting better and better? I'm always so interested to know what's going to happen in each episode every week. This show is just that good. I would like to thank all of you guys for watching me react to this episode and for listening in on my review. Please like and share this video if you can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to check out more of the Owl House content from me. I want you all to have an amazing day ahead and I will see you all very soon. Bye!